Hey, good morning everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. Looks like our keepers are just finishing feeding. Oh, yep, I see Miss Mandy. She's in her lockout though. I'm gonna have to zoom from here. So, Miss Amanda over there having breakfast. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Kathy. Hey, Deb. Cassie and Noor. Good morning. Hey, Chad. Hey, Mary. Hey, Jaden. Hey, Leanne. Whoa. Doesn't want to, doesn't want to stay. Hey, Lori. No spoon feeding today. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there will be something left that you can hand her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's going to get tired of She actually did really good for Megan and I. I think it was last Tuesday. She left two pieces on the plate. And then I was for sure thought she's done because she went and laid in the den. But as soon as we started to walk away with it, she got up and was like, well, where are you going with that? Because go slower. <laughs> she was very impatient. This Another little zoom all, in. All the yeah. Oh, well, we will let her eat breakfast in peace. <laughs> we won't loiter anymore. <laughs> Let's go see this other perfect girl over here. We see a Miss Aria. Hi, Missy. Good morning, Corey. Hi, Susan. Thank you guys for joining me this morning. Hi, Kimberlyn. Hey, Claire. There's a Miss Arias. Did one of your favorite people feed you breakfast? Yeah, that was Catherine training Miss Barbara. Barbara actually was a keeper when I first started here as a red shirt and she left for a short period of time. And now she is back retraining, which we love. So that's what Catherine was saying. Barbara's training so they can't just tong feed Amanda like they usually do. We have to make her be a big girl. <laughs> Hi, Mandy. Hey, Carol. Well, so far, so good. We just got started. Giving you guys enough time to share this, tag each other. Hey, Connie. Hi, Dawn. Good morning, Anne. My stabilizer is not being very stable today. I wonder if it's because I've been using it in a different orientation. So this new stabilizer is all kinds of different from all the other ones I'd had. And um, this one can be left in landscape or portrait mode and still work um, really well. And I've been using it a lot on Instagram. We use landscape here on Facebook, but it's portrait mode on Instagram. So I'm wondering <laughs> if it's not like doing weird stabilization because of that. I don't know. Hi, Judy. Hi, Jim. Hey, Chris. No, Barbara Frank. Barbara Frank was a master keeper that actually worked with the cats for many, many years. She's actually one of the keepers that went and helped with Gail and Jamie and Dr. Justin when they rescued Gilligan's Island. So her and Catherine have been here for many, many years. Oh, Miss Aria. It's so easy to block out the ignorance of the world when you're staring at this beautiful face. <laughs> Good morning, Deborah. Hi, Trish. <laughs> I just love her happy smile. So I wanted to do a little shout out. If any of you guys know any designers or graphic designers or anyone who's great with their design skills, um, I've got some new ideas, some new graphic design ideas for primarily apparel. Um, and I'm looking to see if anyone's interested in donating their artistic abilities. So if that's the case, please let them 
um, know how to contact me, they can find me on my Facebook public page, or you can always email our info email. All right, lady, we're gonna keep walking because now I see a Jasmine. It's usually on my long drive to work that like a random idea will pop in my head. <laughs> And then I tell Siri to write it down for me. <laughs> so I have like a quite a large list now. Hi lady, Miss Jasmine. So we just got a little glimpse of Amanda having breakfast. Amanda's our oldest tiger on property at 25 years old. We just saw Miss Aria. Aria was definitely the worst case of abuse that I have ever personally seen up close. Miss Jasmine here is another Ohio girl, just like Aria. And they were um, confiscated by the state and they came here as witness protection cats. They were here for about four years before we had full custody of them. Jasmine, Duchess, and Jinx um, are still here from that group, the old Fab Four. Yeah, well, you got some stuff to say, I guess. Oh, big stretches. I know. So, so far all three of the tigers you guys have seen have all been subject to neglect, abuse, um, being used as cub petting photo props and then discarded as adults, privately owned, wasting away in dilapidated concrete enclosures. And she's like, I really thought she was going to come back around the corner. She did not. <laughs> My guess is she's laying down on this side now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she just wanted to groom in peace. All right. We'll give her her moment then. <laughs> Donna, I have no idea if we'll ever reopen to the public, um, to be totally honest. A lot of things happened in the year of 2020, so I just don't know if that's going to be something that'll ever happen. We might entertain it at some point or come up with some kind of new plan, but I doubt we're ever going to go back to how it used to be. We used to be open primarily almost every day of the week besides Thursdays. Thursdays were our project day and our moving cat day. Um, all the other days we would do guided educational tours for groups of 20 or less um, and specialty tours like keeper tours and things like that, which I've been trying to. So I think this is why my allergies are out of control. Look at that. <laughs> this is terrible. Um, so it's really hard to say at this point because COVID is definitely something that could affect our cats here. We just haven't been in any kind of rush to put them in harm's way like that. Even though a good majority of us are vaccinated now, there's no vaccine for the cats. There's no studies being done for the cats and we're here for the cats. <laughs> They are our top priority. So at this point, we are just trying to bring the cats to you as virtually as possible. So at least four to five times a week, I try to go live, show you guys the cats, talk about the issues with the cats and how you guys can help these cats. starting to do lives over on Instagram to try to wake up that community a bit. <laughs> Here's Miss Kalee lounging under her birthday. Despite rain and wind, it has held up pretty good. Hi, Miss Kalee. Hi. And all of our tours always post at dailybigcat.com. This is the funniest thing. So about every other day, Kali will take this ball out of her pond. But then as soon as she puts it back in, it gets stuck right there on the 
uh, valve that blows in all of the new water from the lake. <laughs> and then for the sake of also bringing the cats to you virtually, we have installed these Verkata cameras and we are still installing these Verkata cameras all over. And so you can watch all kinds of exclusive random <laughs> activity if you watch any of our Explore or Verkata cameras. There's also some Nest cams and you can find those at bigcatcams.com. Let's go see if there's a Kimba. So at this point, we're just counting on you guys to help us remotely. So you can always donate, of course, on any of our Facebook Lives. You can do it on our website, bigcatrescue.org slash donate. You can do it on our online store or buy anything from our online store or sponsor any of our cats from $25 all the way up to $5,000 with all kinds of good benefits that come along with that and you can do that at bigcatrescue.biz. There's actually quite a few good sanctuaries out there that are not open to the public. So I don't feel like we just can't make it without ever reopening our doors. I just, I do miss seeing the tours, but I also like watching the cats be pretty chill. I know one cat in particular besides Miss Amanda, <laughs> that really doesn't appreciate crowds, and that's Mr. Max. But I wanna go see Max, so let's go over here. So we'll get a glimpse of Kimba real quick. Hi, sir. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's gonna be a good stuff. All right, I'm getting out while I'm ahead. <laughs> Let's go see Max and then we'll try to see Kimba again on our way back through. If your screen freezes, I apologize. This is kind of one of those zones. Hi, Maxie. You can just leave and then come back. Maxie Moo, I gotta come around. Hi. There's that Maxie. There's that Maxie. Look at that handsome guy. What a handsome guy. So earlier I showed you some of the tigers that were subject to cub petting and cub handling, photo props, used and discarded, and then our neglected, abused backyard menagerie cats and now we're over here with Max Tiger who was used and abused in the circus in Guatemala and Kimba who will go back over and see same deal as I mentioned this is a zone where I always lose Wi-Fi or signal so you just gotta if it freezes leave and come back <laughs> telling us in the comments doesn't do a whole lot <laughs> But if you leave and come back, it usually comes back up. Look at that guy. Thank you, Chris, for letting me know $30 has been raised. I really appreciate that. You know, we try to do Facebook posts that have donate buttons so that that brings in funds for specific items or specific cats, like birthdays and anniversaries. Most recently, we were fundraising for a new pump for Servi. We got really close. I think we made it to $3.99 out of the $500 that we needed. We're still about $2,000 away from our second platform out in vacation rotation. So we're getting there. I know summer can be a hard time for us financially as far as selling things on our online store and donations, but you guys always seem to get us where we need to be, so thank you. Maxie. You having a good day, bud? It looks like a pretty full belly. 
Max doesn't pay a whole lot of attention unless you've got a sickle. A sickle or it's breakfast time. <laughs> Is he not so, so, so handsome? So, so handsome. All right, let's go back over and see Kimba and then maybe my signal will be better. So again, Max Tiger, who you just saw, lived about a decade in the circus life in Guatemala. You can definitely tell his spirit's pretty broken. But he's learning to trust. He eats really well. Actually, probably the funniest thing that Max does, and he does it when no one's around, but it's obvious he does it, is if you come over here and look in his enclosure, <laughs> you can see all of those like stumps there they're supposed to have green foliage on them <laughs> he rips them out of the out of the stumps i think we've all caught him kind of doing it like once or twice but he won't do it when anyone's around so my guess is he's doing it like in the middle of the night but all of those there yeah that's supposed to have green that one over there should have green. This one right here should have more green than it does. They should look like what you see behind the other fence. And then same thing over there. He's torn that one up too. <laughs> so he's something. What about you, Kimba? What about the Kimba? I might be pressing my luck. I already got my one chuff. Yeah, just the fact that Max will lay down and relax. And he actually, he sleeps like a rock. Like, I kind of wonder if maybe he just needs a few years of sleeping, like, super solidly for 20 hours a day, if that will help a lot. Because he definitely sleeps, like, to the point where you're standing right there with a treat for him. And you really have to, like, make an effort to wake him up. Mr. Kimba. Ooh. Oh, now we're grumblings. All right. Now we're grumblings. And Kimba's grumbly at breakfast because he, he actually has that whole section up there with his platform and his pool. But where he really wants to be is past that closed door all the way that direction. That is him and Max both. That's their favorite side for some reason. Mr. Kimba has to stay over here until his cleaners come around. Ain't that right? Oh, I know. <laughs> no, sir. That's not nice. He's like, well, if you don't have breakfast and you're not opening this door, what good are you? I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware. He's also one of the tigers that's sort of possessive over his, his poop area, <laughs> which is in the middle there where we can't get to it regularly. He literally has to be sent to another section of his enclosure and secured over there so we can go in and do it. Very handsome. I think your cleaner's probably coming soon. Are they on their way? Okay. All right, buddy, have a good day. <laughs> oh, that cat. Let's go see some of the small kids. gate closed behind me. All right. Well, 
let's see. Well, here's a maxi. Here's Max Bobcat. real quick <laughs> there we go hi Maxie what you doing sir hi Ooh. hi sweetheart hi sweetheart where's Mary Ann you guys having a squabble Coming back this way. Where's Miss Mary Ann? Huh, cuteness? Where's Miss Mary Ann? Oh, there's a bird. There's a bird. watching all the birds. The birds are having a squabble above him. You had a prime seat up there up top. Sorry I didn't bring anything. Cute boy. Where's Mary Ann? Hmm. You don't see her behind me anywhere. Oh, now I do. She's up on top of this platform. She's gonna be a little bit hard to see, so I'm gonna have to hold this up and I won't be seeing anything you guys are saying for a minute. You got a glimpse and then it told me it was cutting out. I don't know if it's because it's so cloudy or what's going on today. With uh, it cutting in and out as much as it is. There's always about three places on property that I'll lose signal. This isn't usually one of them, so that was weird. Oh, how cute. Get Desi on his Coolaroo. See if I can get a view. <laughs> Mr. Des. Hi, Des. Look very cozy. They're so good at hiding their little faces. So handsome. It's a good day to use one of those Coolaroos. Coolaroos are like a mesh bed up on that like metal frame. So it allows air to pass under. And it creates a nice little breeze.
It helps arthritic cats like Des too. They can prop their feet up and find ways of grooming themselves a little bit easier. <laughs> He's so darn cute. I think two of my favorite servals that maybe are underrated to a lot of people would be Des and Cricket. They're definitely two of my favorite Meds cats. Gotta get those toe beans clean after breakfast. That's true. Our cats are pretty relaxed here at Big Cat Rescue. Most of them sleep for like 20 hours a day. They get up for breakfast or snacks or toys if, if they feel like it. <laughs> They've got huge natural enclosures, as you can see as I'm walking through here. They all have access to real trees, all of these palmettos. They've got dens, they've got platforms. They have sporadic water bowls. So most of the time they don't even have to walk that far to get water. I have Anala over there, but I know she's already hissing and I'm not even over there. I'll just show you. She's through several layers of wire, but there's a little Nala face. Hi, Nala. Hi, pretty lady. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> She's just totally fine with me if I'm feeding her, enriching her, doing operant. She's good with all that. I can even bring other people over and do operant sign-offs with her. And she does totally fine. It's just, it's just when it's me and her. <laughs> Maybe it's the camera. I'm gonna start telling myself that she just has an issue with the camera. Cause that's true. She only usually does see me if I have my actual camera to take photos or if I'm doing this with a live. I'm always sticking some kind of technology in her face. Okay. Even though we'll be celebrating him tomorrow, I see a flinster. Hi, buddy. Flint's two year rescue anniversary will be tomorrow. are so tough today. There we go. Hi, handsome. Hi. Are you coming down? You don't have to. What a big boy. I remember when you were the size of your own head. the size of your own head. You grew up fast. You grew up fast. Cute boy. Don't jump. No, put that paw down. He's still so rotten. Still doing all the things we don't want you to do. Yeah. So rotten. Don't do your flop up there. You gotta come down to do that. <laughs> yeah. Handsome guy. Right now, Max and Marianne and Flint and Nabisco and Kilona and Dryden, any of our guys that share space with another one get separated at breakfast time and then they're put back together once their plates have been all cleaned up. And so right now they're still separate. Right 
it. I got some really adorable photos and video of him playing with this purple toy. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Probably share that on our Instagram stories. It was pretty silly. You're so long. Longest legs, longest tail, longest torso. <laughs> yeah, he's still such a tiny bob. He got big, but he's still not like girthy. <laughs> Let's put it that way. There's a Miss Culona. Hi, honey. Doing your signature move. Hiding in plain sight, Miss Culona. Exactly, exactly her favorite thing to do. That means Dryden is on the other side. Oh, I actually see him right now. He's in the back. Don't worry, you're fine. Although, look at that little tail. Look at that little tail. The tip of your tail. <laughs> All right, that clearly does not make you comfortable. <laughs> Did you see how big her eyes got? Mr. Dryden, he just ran away. Let's see where he is. Dryden. Nope, he's out of here. All the way up front now. <laughs> okay, bye. See if there's a biscuit somewhere. Yep, right where I thought he'd be. These guys love being under this platform. Hi, cutie. Hi. What you doing? Is it fun under there? You look pretty zoned out. You look pretty zoned out. Oh, I won't do it with the wire. This is Nabisco. He lives with Flint. They're just still separated at breakfast. Pretty sleepy, but still mischievous. It's really hard to get no wire shots with most of the bobs, especially. Because before you know it, they have struck the camera. Well, if you guys missed it yesterday, we did a live yesterday morning for Gilligan to go back outside. Last night during meds, he was back in his usual spot, upside down, laying under his platform. And now he's in his usual morning spot over there by his den. And then usually between one and two, I've been trying to do lives on Instagram and yesterday was a fun one with Mr. Jinx. Hi Gilly. So good to see you back over there. Yeah. All done with his medications and all done with his stay in the recovery hospital. Mr. Gilligan. Everybody's a mister today. Haven't heard any hooing, but. Hoo! 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 I'm gonna say that's Gilligan for Welcome Home and I Love You. <laughs> I know, it was a rough, rough week and a half, wasn't it, buddy? But 
I'm just glad you're okay. For anyone who doesn't know, we spotted like what we thought looked like a hot spot on his tail, took him in to see Dr. Justin, and he ended up having a mass on his tail area. So we did amputate the whole area, sent it out, and discovered luckily that it was benign and he should heal, and we're just gonna keep a close eye on him. Yep, we're really breaking into everybody's nap time. So why don't we go see one more cat? And we'll call it a day. If you missed any part of this live, we've been live for a while. We saw quite a few of our tigers. Everybody thinks big cat. They, of course, think lions and tigers. But we've got way more small cats than big cats. And they're still big cats with big cat attitudes. somebody's already up on her catwalk it means that she's already ready for her nap yep miss smalls oh hi feisty I'm coming down I'm coming down to say hello hi hi special lady <laughs> I'm gonna pee on that instead of me today that'd be great be great. Uh, I see you. She's been bopping my camera a lot lately. <laughs> You're right, Cassie. Gilligan's got a really hard personality uh, to understand. Um, <laughs> uh, Lauren B. describes him as a wet blanket. <laughs> Because you're right, I mean, he's been here for quite quite a few years, and he really hasn't bonded with anyone. Um, Skipper was the same way, so I'm not sure if that's a lynx thing or not. I know Zeus and Apollo were the only other types of lynx that I've ever had experience with. And they were Siberian lynx. And they also had kind of harsh personalities, but they were a lot more aggressive, very growly. They stick their arm out and bop you. Gilligan is just kind of that like he'll he'd rather just go the other way. He's not really gonna come at you. So I don't know. Could also just be the years of horrible conditions he lived in before he came here and sometimes you just can't undo the damage. Right? What do you think? Of course this one didn't bond with anybody right off the bat either, did ya? Neither did Cyrus. It took a while to break through. Right? Now you'll give other people the time of day sometimes. She always wants me to follow her over there, but then there's nothing over there. <laughs> like, but she does, she just comes back this way. I'd say Gilligan's personality shines through when he eats breakfast because he does like to play with it. But he really doesn't like a lot of enrichment. He doesn't like sickles very much anymore. And operant was always an adventure. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Yes, I am. Always watching the girl. Yeah, Smalls is very much like, Mom, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look what I can do. Look where I can go. Look at this. Look at this rock that I play with. <laughs> so silly. I think Smalls figured out that if she gives other people the time of day, then she will usually gets food for it because... Most people only really come over and interact with her trying to do operant because she became such a good cat at it that we've made her a training cat for anyone who's learning how to do operant conditioning with the small cats. And so she'll still be reluctant to some people, but most people now she'll run right over to, which is like leaps and bounds from when she arrived. The thing she's not going to be a training cat in is grooming. <laughs> I think some of you might have seen me share that on my public profile. 
and I went out experimenting, trying to see if there was anybody that I'm pretty bonded with that would allow me to groom them so that I could start using them to train other people when they get to the point in the program where they're capable of doing that. We kind of don't have a lot of cats that allow it at this moment, so I'm working overtime to try to get certain cats used to it. And I thought for sure, because I mean, that's what she does. She comes over and shows me her little rear end. So I was like, well, and she hangs out. She'll even lay and practically sleep on the side of the enclosure with me. So I thought for sure, maybe she'd let me groom her. And that was very scary, wasn't it? <laughs> Basically what happened is I sat here for a few and she got cozy and she just put her butt towards me and I used the end of the scratcher and I placed it near her tail. And she didn't mind that. She didn't even turn around and look at me at first. And then she started kind of lowering her butt like and so then I started actually using the scratcher and that didn't seem to bother her until her butt like totally sat down on the ground and then she turned around with both uh, paws fully clawed out <laughs> and teeth and she snarled and she tried to take the scratcher from me and I was like okay no thanks She's young and fully clawed. She shouldn't ever really need a groomer, but I thought if she'd allow it, that that would be a good idea, but it was not. She very much was like, nope. So right now I'm trying to work on Cricket and Hutch. Cause running bear's a big no. So we really don't have any bobcats right now that would allow grooming, nor will they need it because they're clawed or they have a, a friend with them. Like, oh, gotta get a drink in there, which might mean she really will come pee on me soon. Oh, gotta scratch my log. Well, thank you guys for hanging out. I think this is where we're going to end for today. See if she comes back this way. So if you came in late and you missed uh, Amanda and Aria and Jasmine and all the tigers along the way, Des on his cool roo, which was super cute, then you can rewatch this at dailybigcat.com. And weather permitting, I think our rain chances are a little more sporadic early in, in the middle of the day. Um, I will try to do a live over on Instagram, but we will see. Nope, we're only looking for small cats for grooming. I can't train somebody who's just only going to be able to work with a bobcat or a serval by showing them a tiger or a leopard. Because at this point, Nikita and Jinx will allow grooming, but I can't use them as training cats for... Usually it's just our level four interns, and right now we've had quite a few of them. And they all want a cat to work with, so I've got a project. <laughs> Thank you very much for the $70 that was raised today. Every little bit counts. That at least bought somebody breakfast for tomorrow, so we really appreciate that. All right, on that note, take care everybody. Have a great day.